Welcome back, everybody. United Healthcare is celebrating New Englanders 65 and older who make extraordinary contributions to the health and well-being of their communities. Yeah, they actually call them champions, and they really want to celebrate them. So joining us now to talk more about this is Gabriel Martinez, director of United Healthcare Medicare and Retirement New England. Welcome. Hi, how you doing? Good morning. Gabrielle, I'm just a little upset that I don't qualify quite yet for this award, but I'm looking forward to it. All right, fantastic. We hope to see a nomination for you when it comes up. Okay, yeah. good. <laughs> Tell us a little bit more about, like, really what is New England Champions uh, as far as the program and, and how do we get involved? Yeah, so, so this is our first, United Healthcare's first ever New England Champions program. And ultimately, you know, it recognizes older adults, so 65 and over, um, across New England who are really doing these amazing, incredible things to contribute to the health and well-being of their communities. Um, it's another way that United Healthcare is, is fighting ageism and really showing that amazing really knows no age. I um, love it. Our mission at United Healthcare, it's to, to help people live healthier lives. Uh, and these people who are celebrating are really helping us do just that, especially right here in the Constitution State. What, is, what are some of the ways nominees are being recognized right here in Connecticut? Yeah, so you know we're we're really excited to uh, to celebrate people like Diane Davis. Uh, Diane Davis actually retired from the Yale Adler Geriatric Assessment Center, um, and she served as a geriatric case manager. But since her retirement, uh, she's remained really active in our community, working with people who are affected by Alzheimer's. Mm. Uh, you know, she volunteered for for more than thirty years. Uh, she's had a variety of different leadership roles. Uh, most prominently, she actually has served as the chair of her annual New Haven Walk to End Alzheimer's. Um, and in addition to that, she goes out into the community and she she educates those around her, you know, at places of worship, at community centers, at senior centers, to really just help folks learn about those resources and the risk factors for, uh, you know, people who might be affected or impacted by Alzheimer's. Yeah, and why do you think an a program like this is so important right now? You know, there's there are always reasons to celebrate older adults, but but right now it's really important to draw attention to the many contributions that people over the age of 65 are making that really enrich our communities across Connecticut and New England. You know, I mentioned earlier that we're we're working to help fight ageism and ageism is really an unfair discrimination uh, against people because of their age. And it, and it happens to everyone. It happens to you. It happens to me. We may not know it, but it's definitely happening. And this program, it's just one of the ways that we're, we're really helping raise awareness for the role of older adults and that play an important role uh, in improving the health and well-being of all of our communities. Because, like I said, Amazing really knows no age. Gabriel, Gabriel how do you get, do you, do you does United Healthcare nominate the person or do people nominate another person? How do they become? Yeah, how are they selected? How are they sure. selected? Yeah. So, you know, ultimately we had a an online submission form uh, at five. So folks were able to go in there. It was not just for United Healthcare members. So individuals could go in. They knew someone who was doing something amazing. They went in, nominated their uh, their champion, so to speak. And ultimately, you know, we pulled together uh, this incredible selection committee um, who are people out in the community, business leaders, clinical leaders. Um, and we even have Heisman Trophy winner and proud New Englander Doug Flutie on that uh, selection committee who ultimately selected the, you know, there were six individuals who were celebrating this year. Terrific. Well, it sounds like a really wonderful program. Yeah, absolutely. You're going to yeah. hold the New England Champions celebratory event in Boston on June 30th. And so we get to make a donation. Uh, there'll be a, the donation we made to a local charity. Um, so that's just awesome. And I think it's so important to uh, let people know that, you know, we get better, not older. Yeah, Karen, keep keep telling me that. Thank no, you, Gabriel. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank All you. Right. Again, to learn more about United Healthcare New England Champions program, visit uhcchampions.com. All right, cool. we hope you've had a wonderful Tuesday. It feels like Monday, doesn't it? Well, it, I almost it said feels Monday. Like Monday for me. I wasn't here yesterday. I wasn't either. Oh, okay. It's Monday, everybody. It's Monday. <laughs> it's truly really Tuesday, though. Have a great All day. Right.